Ready to roll? Yes. That's pretty excellent. Hey, everybody. Ho, ho, ho. It's Full Spectrum Cycling, show 283, the the Tony-less show. Yeah. Oh, bumped that thing pretty good. My man bag is holding, holding, holding court. I'm Sven. I'm JK. That's JK over there. This is a delicious dish. I just saw so this song we've been using for the... Uh, Intro. I think I mentioned before that was an AI thing, mm-hmm. which took several iterations. From which one? Uh, you know what? I'll have to go back. I remember and remember it, is, that it had you a, said it like five times. It had a ever. catchy name that, and then they never sent any money, so no more name. Didn't work. But not only did it do the music, it came up with the title of the song, which I just remembered because I had this thing on the wrong screen. <laughs> Echoes of the Void. Echoes is the, the name of the song. All right. Yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. I don't know. It's pretty good. How does it know? It's it's intelligent, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I just ran into a uh, somewhere in the social media rabbit hole uh, a guy I went to high school with who was in a band with Andy Kochansky of Kochansky's right on. Tina. Uh and he's in a band that's kind of plays the Waukesha, McGuanago circuit, I think. But it had a name that was kind of clever, and I can't remember it for uh, the life of me. But it was in that vein. Right on. Of, of just like, dun da da, you know. Was it a, things of things. Was it a know? doom metal y thing? I don't Honestly, know. I think it was like kind of a, a pop rockin' country, but it had a kind of ominous name. Ominous. But eh. Ominous Dolls. It's a new band name. I've never, yeah. I've never know. heard of it yet. But. The Shitty Misties is the one that always is going to stick around. <laughs> There's a lot of them. It's amazing how people keep coming up with band names. <laughs> so, uh, what the heck's going on? Yeah. What, what have you been doing? I don't know. I haven't seen you. No, you, you were no. here last week. I haven't seen no, you. No, 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 no. Did the birdie day. And that worked out without major incident. <laughs> Any incident happened after we left, which is nice. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, you went to West Bend, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, every, everything worked out. Yeah, everything kind of went eh, haywire. It went manageable. They know what they're doing. But, you know, so certain nonsensory, you know. <laughs> I know when to pull the damn ripcord. There you and go. That, and I was like, yeah, Well, the yeah, Packer okay. game was a good um, break-off point. Yeah, but yeah, there was so much driveway time. You know, you're just sitting there like that. Oh, hey, I forgot to get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got to put this in. There. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say bye to this. Oh, I forgot my phone. All the fun things. You yeah. know, and it's like, da, 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 da. and all of this is happening while that uh, 20% chance of flurries became a 100% chance of like measurable snow. Sweet. Actively going. And my first snow driving in about four and a half years. Wow. Yeah. You navigated it all. Oh, right? hell yeah. But I was white knuckling this shit like <laughs> all hell. Everyone's, I just, everyone's like yapping and talking and hit like five bottles of, or five bottles, five glasses of wine into each of them. Right. On. And it's like, oh, shut up. <laughs> I just noticed this thing over there. Clamp? No, this is oh, a. Uh, you want to give me PTSD, man? It's a zip tie cutter. Yeah. That I've talked about before and I lost mine. <laughs> and so Tony brought his back so I could Shit. use it, and then I just found mine again. So oh. this is Tony, so he can have it back. But yeah, I was like looking through some bag. Bog. Bog. That was, I don't know, you know, hadn't been used in six months, and it was in there with a koozie, some, you know. So, okay. So now that's, Tony gets his um, back. All right. So in my youth... May have fractured a law or two and youthful indiscretions and what have you. But I had a semi semi permanent nose ring at the time of one of these indiscretions that put me in the weekend <laughs> uh-huh. county and Co- whatever. County funding. Funny and place. they said, take that nose ring out or somebody in the gen pop is gonna rip it out. 
And I said, I have no idea how to do that. So they called in two guys from the freaking bomb squad. And <laughs> a bomb squad. Yeah. And the guy's like shaking his head with those neat, like those clipper type things right Right there, right next to my, right pointing at my eye. Yeah, trying to get, trying to get the, uh, just clip it like that. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's the predicaments I, one gets uh, oneself in yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. Well, not those days, but yeah, you triggered me, man. Triggered. Okay, well, <laughs> that's Tony, so he can take that away next time. Way to go, man. Ay, ay, ay. Speaking right. of Tony, Whew. who's not here, and we're talking about him. He's yeah, on the phone. He's got new hair. Oh. <laughs> Um, purple hair. Okay. All right. That's um, how my mom knows him. Purple hair, Tony? Yeah. Uh, speaking of people <laughs> on the phone, it's not Tony. Oh. Hey, welcome to the radio program, caller. Who do we have on the line? It is your number one Canadian fan, All Roy, calling. Right? Hey, hey. Hey, All Roy. How is it going? Uh, it's hey, going how's well. how's it going, guys? Good, good. How's it going with you? Uh, uh, it's going good. I was wanting to um, quick catch up with you guys before Global Fat Bike Day and let you know I, I did purchase a new fat bike. Dun, dun, dun. It's, uh, Rocky. it's a Rocky Mountain. Uh, it, they, they had a sale, a really sweet sale. They were selling them off for like 1000 before tax, of course, uh, 1000 and change Canadian here, which we at this time probably about 200 bucks American. <laughs> so wow. uh, very, 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 very inexpensive. And uh, so, yeah, I grabbed that. I've been riding around in the fall here for a little bit, and I'm hoping that when this weekend hits, we'll be able to uh, take it out and cruise around a bit and have some fun with it. Yeah, it should be good. Yeah. Thank, uh, Global Fat Bike Day is, yeah, that's this weekend. Well, some of them have expanded their horizons to the next weekend due to conflict schedules and stuff, but I just threw up a list on fatbike.com today with as many as I could find. I obviously just got it going again because you commented on the first post, but um, yeah, yes. I thought yes, a better late than never sort of thing. No, it's awesome. I, I'm really, I was really stoked when I saw that. I just kept checking every day, waiting after we talked the last time, and then I saw a little post. I was like, yeah, right on. And then I got a hold of the guys that I ride with and said, guys, do me a favor, and then do look at it, but not maybe not as religiously as I do. You know, <laughs> sitting around playing around the phone, and hey, what's going on? Fatbike dot com, and um, yeah. So they, I know they put some comments there as well. So um, we're excited to see whatever form that it takes, and I'd be happy to uh, contribute in whatever way that I can. And yeah, if it's interesting or something, great. Yeah, I mean, just kind of you know, do what you've done in the past, send in pictures. You did an event report, which even though. I'm a little late on it. We'll put it up there because it's interesting when people know where stuff happened and what that thing's kind of like. So I will, um, yeah, I'll, I'll that get was, that going. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. No, that was a, that was a, a exclusive fat bike, um, race and poker ride that, uh, I kind of heard through the grapevine that it was, it was happening and then it, they put it on, but it's kind of a, what they call a flash. Um, they'll put it up on the Monday because the weather is so, awful here it could like the last two global <laughs> fat bike days have been rained out like completely and i mean i'm talking i don't mind riding in a little bit of drizzle, this year, you know because a couple beers that wipes it all off it's not a problem but when it's coming down so hard you can't see two years in a row i mean i was bummed out sure and sure, uh, sure, sure. so this year it looks like we're going to get a little bit of something at least something dry and powdery to ride on and so it, sh it should be kind of, it should be better and a little more interesting yeah for sure so no, it, was, it was fun it was a fun event it was well done well, where you guys are, you don't get the lake effect like they do in other parts of the Great Lakes there, do you? For the snow. No, no, no. We're really sheltered here. It, it's it's really it's really funny to see because say for instance, Buffalo is only an hour an hour and I say an hour and a half from here by the time you cross the border and they will get you'll see people, you know, shoveling their roofs off. Oh yeah. yeah. And they seem like they're you know, they're not they're you're used to it, right? So yeah. but here you get an, a quarter of an inch of snow. And you would not believe the bitching that goes on this, this, this city. It's, it's, it's in, like, like they can't drive 100 miles an hour down the, you know, you have to at some point drive to the conditions. And a lot of people around here want to, just like it's summertime, and it's not like that really. So you have to kind of, you know, That's I see as many accidents in the dry, sunny days as I do in the snow. So, yeah. Right but on. no, we don't get, we're quite sheltered here where I am. Yeah. All right. Hey, you mentioned your new Rocky Mountain before and, and, the, and the super deal you got on it. Yeah. I, do, is Rocky yeah. Mountain going to continue to make 
fat bikes, or do you think that they're kind of just getting rid of the last of their stock and they're kind of done with the deal? That's a good question. Um, I didn't get the impression that they were, I think they were trying to clear up maybe last year's overstock the way I kind of, the way I felt like it was kind of just trying to move some stuff along some sure. overstock. I, I don't think they're getting rid of it. I hope they don't because I, I'm, I mean, I, you can always find parts. It's the, it's the frame that I was really interested in. It wasn't a terribly, it wasn't terribly, um, all the nice fancy parts, but I have that on the Norco. So what I was going to do in the springtime was move all the fancy parts from the Norco because I've had that a few years now and it's done me so well. Yeah. And then I'll move all the fancy parts over to the, the Rocky Mountain and then I'll just continue to ride it and use the Norco as kind of the really, you know, just the boot around town bike that I'm not as particular about if, you know. So that's what I'm, that's my plan anyway. So yeah, no, it came with it came with mechanical disc brakes, which I mean, quite honestly, they work okay. I, I, I do prefer the hydraulic brakes and the ones that are on the Norco are much, much nicer. But, right on. you know, it, it, for, the, for the deal, it was mostly uh, that they came with the 27 and a half, uh, 80 mil wide, uh, tubeless uh, rims and the cake eater tires that were oh, studdable. So yeah, I thought, well, good. that alone almost, that almost pays for the entire bike really. So that really the frame <laughs> was what I wanted and I got all the extra stuff along with it that I needed and not the stuff that I already had. So Super. yeah, no, it worked out good. Very good. Um, what else do I have for you here? Uh, I don't know if I have much more for all raw. You you got stuff for us. That's what. That's why you're yeah. here. I mean, well, you know, what do I, I have to? Know, it's yeah, the giving. What do I have the to tell you? <laughs> We're just sitting here <laughs> gathering the apples. I have. I have been listening. I've been listening. I liked. Uh, I like that you gave a shout out to to Keith. Is and I, I, I want to consider him the one number one American fan for you guys. I'm the number one Canadian fan for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but. Um, yeah, no, it's, uh, I was, I also saw that you, that there's discussions, there always has been over the years discussions about moving the global fat bike day. And I guess my for argument real, yeah. against think... it is that it's kind of, it's kind of for me is because I ride it all year round, I don't think it particular. I think there's some, some areas of the world in global fat bike day that don't get, they don't see snow, they ride sand or they'll ride, you know, that's dry and sunny sure. and warm Absolutely. or ride in short. So, I mean, it's kind of to me like the sort of, for, I guess North America would be kind of the kickoff to the fat bike season. So it doesn't have to be the day that has all the snow because I mean, in let's say January, February, you could ride every day and every day could be global fat bike day, right. but yeah, you know, so that's the way I see it. But I mean, I don't see the net. I don't see the need to move it. Um, but yeah, that's my argument for not moving it. Gotcha. Yeah. I think, well, so I did that big post today and I counted just kind of ballpark all the people that were interested in all these events around the world that are doing global fat bike day and it was over way over 4000 i just was kind of like meh i'm kind of lost count already <laughs> but um and also 70 events so i think obviously the day is a day that people have in their mind is that's global fat bike day uh but what it also yep. showed me was there's still interest in fat bikes as everybody's saying oh my gosh they're not fat. making fat bikes anymore with fat. the big companies i'm like there's still people interested in the stuff it's not <laughs> going anywhere Absolutely. Well, the thing that the thing that I always explain to people because the first thing they say is, "Isn't it? Doesn't it take a lot of work to get it moving?" And I go, "Absolutely not." And I said, "the The way that the frame is built, if you don't like the four inch tires, it's built exactly like a mountain bike. Buy another set of rims with skinnier tires and ride it around like a regular bike. You mm -hmm. can get suspension on it. Yeah. There's no reason you can't yeah. just ride it. If you don't like the four inch tires, then just ditch them and and then you have the availability. You can put any wheel on there you want. Absolutely. And it's it's that's so versatile. I, that's why I love it. That's what we do with uh, Kim State. Oh, yeah, terrible. yeah, yeah. We switched to twenty nine plus, you know, during the uh, I guess off season. <clears throat> but sure, I have a twenty nine plus bike anyway, so I just leave the fat bike tires on the fat bike and leave the other ones on the other bike and call it a day. Uh, oh, 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 Mike, oh I, I Michael, Michael, saying we're at the top of the hill here now. Just if you could, so you know. nice. If you could pull over and and wait for us, we'll be up there in a minute. <laughs> or go hands, no worries. Or hey, go hands free. We'll, we'll talk can... about the beer. Then I got another question for you. But we're just drinking dad beer sure. today. We yep. got we got hams. We got old style, and we have Pabst Blue Ribbon beer. Yeah. Uh, the won, won the gold medal in 1846, I believe. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I I I picked up. I went up. The, so I don't call in November because. 
I like to take a bit of a break. I and I really enjoy the Christmas beers. I enjoy the fall beers. I enjoy the pumpkin beers. So I take a break really? in November because I think, for some strange reason, I think it's healthier for me. I, I actually think I'm more miserable when I'm. You know what I mean? I'm, I don't know why I'm doing this to myself, but yeah. so I, so I, yeah. December's a good time to get back at it. Right before Global Fat Bike Day, and I picked up one tonight that hit me, and I thought, yeah, definitely this was the one. It's actually called Big Sexy, <laughs> and it's from. Yeah, it's from Refined Fool Brew, Refined Fool Brewing in uh, Sarnia, Ontario. <laughs> so yeah, six point eight. Reminds Sexy. me, we, we yeah. have not heard well, from Big Sexy for a while. No, right. well, I think he was well, tricycle broke, and then I think he got just pulled up. I for think the he's, winter, done, he's back down happened? in Nolens. Yeah, he's back in Nolens for the winter. We'll see. Mm. We'll see what happens after that. So, uh, actually, you're taking November off for. Uh, you know, not drinking beer as much or any at all. Uh, got me to this. Well, so like after a month, you come back and you got a little less tolerance, probably. So you're like, "Ooh, I'm a little happier now than I was." A oh month yeah. Ago. yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So what I'm noticing about my fitness because I'm an old man fitness. and I got the shoulder issue where I haven't been riding anywhere near as much as I need to be riding. That in just a couple months, it's gotten like I'm walking up like two flights of stairs. I'm going, "What the." Why is this so hard? Oh, shit. I, you know. Does it really go away that fast? Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, I thought maybe I was having a heart attack <laughs> And I'm younger. And but... I, no, no. I mean, because <laughs> ever since I got that damn van, I do not ride my bike as much. <laughs> just because it's like, hey, it's cold out. I might as well just burn, ding, 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 ding. And then I get on uh, that clunker, and it's all like, oh, jeez. This takes just a little bit of effort to get top of the hill. <laughs> but once we're here. Ta-da. Yeah, well, it's just, it's been like, well, it's probably been close to three months, really, but it, I just oh, was man. like amazed at how oh. quickly this is going away. I don't know if you've ever had those kind of breaks, all right, where you just have time off from an injury or whatever the whatever the thing is, too much work or whatever, but have you found that yet? You're, you're, oh, you're, yeah. young, you're younger than us by some, right? At least uh, than me. Just I, by, a, by a bit, yeah, just yeah. a little bit, not not far off, not really not right that on. far off in 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 terms but no yeah yeah there's it's funny because there's one hill that i i've been back and forth to work on the exact you know more or less on the exact same um way every day for like 20 years and there's one hill and i don't i've done it a million times and every single time i get to the top and i'm huffing i'm thinking there's at some point do you think that i'd be able to get to the thing that like i'm like <laughs> yeah Huffing and i'm thinking this is ridiculous like it should be used to this by now but yeah there's it's something about maybe it's just a short uh, whatever i think it's for me I, I, is it I, going I race to with my friends to go to this race? Is it going to work? No, coming back from. Oh. oh. No, coming back oh, from. Okay. Coming back from. There's a I little mean, tiny, yeah. <laughs> just a little tiny, punchy hill there. Sure. Yeah. Okay, my theory just went out the window. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, oh, yeah, well, it's going to work. Of course, the body's rebelling. It's doing this. <clears throat> right on. Uh, well, I will say that I think, and I didn't, I still don't think that, it's actually the case, but I got the Omnium cargo bike, which I've talked about and had pictures on the site and stuff, which I super love. And it is a Shimano uh, Steps E Assist bike. And I kept thinking, well, I'm looking at my I'm looking at my heart rate and I'm looking at all this stuff, and it's like, it's it's as much as if I were riding it without a motor, but I'm not spending as long on the bike because I'm getting where I'm going a lot faster. So I'm not really right. Maybe instead of spending a half hour to get there, I'm getting there in you know, 18 minutes. So it's like, well, instead of 30 minutes, I'm only getting 18. While I'm doing it, it's kind of the same. But once I, you know, factor in the time that I'm actually not doing it, that might Resting. be where some more of this comes in. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is I that, just, is that all what, I can say is it's Is that what that shit one little thing on Ride by GPS means? It's like standing time, resting time, active time. Oh uh, boy, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, looked at some of those, and I'm going. I, I haven't have got any I damn use idea it, what the hell these are even talking about. I just on my watch, I go work out, and it does it. I don't specifically I do. Gotta, I got to redo it. Oh yeah, I got a oh, broke, I got oh, a broken, broken, broken yeah, face. Let nice. me. Yeah. Um, I don't specifically Lee Lee use uh, ride with GPS except for stuff like Steel is Real, where yeah. we're planning a route and blah blah blah. But or just curious about I just how fast turn, I can go. Down turn my watch on. Because it is good for speed, or it was uh, at one point. All as right. long as long as you don't get too close to downtown Milwaukee by the lakefront, 
because I don't know what happens around there. Oh. It just goes, and you end up. It's a magnetic field or yeah. something. Yeah, well, you end up, like, when you finish ride, it'll be like, okay, top speed, 65 miles an hour, and part of the uh, thing is about, like, mile and a half into Lake Michigan. That's when you forget, your track. when you get your car and you forget yeah, to Yeah, it's an it X-Files, yeah. I was yeah. abducted somehow on my ride, and I didn't know it. All right, do you use any uh, uh, apps or GPS things when you're riding? No, I, I actually don't. I used to have a speedo- like a speedometer and a, a mile calculator on the one bike that I had, and I started to get a bit obsessive about it. So if I missed a day, I'd be like, well, i got to make that six <laughs> kilometers up in the, you know, on the weekend. And so then I was adding up my head to see how many I could actually – one year I did actually calculate it, and it was something – uh, like 4,000 kilometers in a year, which was, I mean, that mm-hmm. was the high, at the high point in COVID where there's nothing else to do but ride. But, right, um, right. I mean, on average, 3,000 3, kilometers a year. But I don't, I don't try not to obsess about it. Just try to enjoy it. And, yeah. and um, but one thing, yeah, one thing that I've done that I just totally uh, out of my wheelhouse is a friend of mine says to me, he goes, do you want to come down on Saturday morning and join this running club? And I don't know if you guys have ran in a while, but. Hell no. <laughs> no, that, that seems like, like torture. at all. No, it's, that's why I got, that's a reason for a damn bike. So I don't have to run. It was a three. <laughs> it was a three mile run, and I think it took me three or four days. And I'm thinking I'm in pretty good shape, and my legs were just demolished. I mean, Hell obviously, yeah. I wasn't. I didn't have running shoes. I'm running in my five tens, and they're not really built for running. But I thought the five k didn't seem that far. But I mean, I was hurting, and it, it's not like I, I was sweating, and it was cold here. And I'm thinking, wow, this is way more work than I thought it was mm-hmm. going to be, but. Yeah. yeah, I don't think I'm going to be a runner. That's not yeah. something that I yeah. aspire to be as a runner. That's not. <laughs> no. that's I know a couple. Pe- I know a couple them. people who they enjoy it a lot, and you know, kudos, go go and have a great time on that. But I just can't. Yep. I mean, my, my, my knees can't take yeah, it. So yeah, that's yeah, one yeah, thing exactly. about it. No. Yeah, I, I just no, I can't. All right, all right. I got another. <laughs> I got another all right question. Uh, we kind of yes. started this last week with uh, when Tony was here. I kind of I I don't know how we're going to continue it, but I want to kind of bring stuff up that happens throughout the year that was like it's just like cold weather gear that worked really well, even if it was like because it's so different out there. Even if it was just for this day, it's like oh, I really I really got those boots nailed today, and those were whatever boot it was or whatever. But I overall, I want to know what people's like favorite cold weather gear is. You got something that really works well for you, and it's just like I'm not going out without this, no matter what. Well, it's funny you say, like, so, like, you know, long johns are, like, almost like pajamas, like, they're mm-hmm. kind of, a, um, they're not very skin tight, you would say, they're not, like, typical biking gear. Well, I went and bought the, the guys that work make such fun of me, and believe me, I don't wear them without shorts, but they're these, <laughs> lycra, like, leggings. Yeah, yeah. And it's not that they're, I wouldn't say that they're necessarily, they don't have a warming capability, but they, they have the ability to keep the wind off you. And I think if you keep the wind off of you, that, that keeps you the warmest. I had a pair of gloves from Louis Garneau one time that I absolutely loved. I bought the ones that were windproof, and they were kind of lousy. They kind of didn't do the trick, but the ones that were waterproof or vice versa, I can't remember which was, but they kept your hands completely warm. They were, they were, mm. But that's the, the, mo- the thing that I've eaten on most of those leggings. Everything yeah. else is, yeah. is bas- your basic you know, winter gear. I try to get some pants that aren't too... You definitely don't want to start sweating. So the thing is, when you leave the house, you want to kind of be a little cool. Mm-hmm. But once you get moving, uh, you know, and I did buy a pair of, I try to at least look like a cyclist. So I did buy a pair of these race face, um, like, uh, I want to say, they're not like splash pants, but they're almost like a, uh, a moisture resistant and uh, wee, 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 wee. Like they're not insulated. They're, you know what I mean? So they, I wear those all the time too, and they're great. So getting back to the uh, leggings. Do, that I, that I wear. Yes. Do they have a little lace right around the ankle? <laughs> no, they, they thank God they don't. They call no, it. They don't. Michael, and, they uh, call it a reflector. It's did, not I, lace. <laughs> I would pull my socks up over that if it was. I no, I, I was. Fun, though, I was in this. I was in the same position. I was out <laughs> east and uh, I was in a Rite Aid. And just wandering around and just like, okay. And I looked at this clearance rack and I saw this thing of leggings for, I don't know, it's like two bucks or something like that. And I looked <laughs> at it going like, hell, you know, those would work out nicely as, you know, base layer for the leggings yeah, yeah, for during, sure. and whatever. 
And sure as shit, I still have them. I mean, they're a little busted in the whatever. The hula hula nini nini yeah. area? Well, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a man, and those are made for women, and <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I understand completely. I was just like, I have no shame on that, man. No, 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 no how, how no. does anybody and else know, especially if they're black? What the people? They are black. Everything's black. Why? The, why don't black. Like the, black. the leggings, sir. <laughs> the <laughs> leggings. How soft. Look at, at Michael's yeah. shirt, by the way. <laughs> Check out Michael. Michael's got uh, a shirt on with uh, Bill Murray as. Uh, is that Bill Murray? No, that's. Yeah. Uh, is it? Yeah. It could have been Bad Santa Claus too, though. Billy mm. Bob, just because it's it's a likeness, but it's not like a total ripoff of. Indeed, you know what I'm saying. Yes, I yes. go. With, I could. That could be a yeah, Billy yeah, Bob. You yeah. could. You could very easily say because that's yeah. quite possible. Well, it's a. Uh, it's definitely the funniest. Uh, movie for holidays for sure. I'm not sure it's not the funniest movie of all time because it's pretty freaking funny. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't. Yeah. It's for some a, reason, Bad Santa 2 keeps floating up. And, oh, no, Bad and, Santa 1, for sure. I don't oh, know. I mean, the second one just happens to be on, like, Pluto TV when I'm just, I don't want to think about what I want to watch. <laughs> all righty. Hey, all right, you got anything you want to leave us with? We're going to wrap this sucker up, and uh, I know it's a couple of days away, but I'm oh, already just th- nice. thinking about Global Fat Bike Day, so. I'm getting I'm getting excited. I'm just on call at work, so I'm kind of have to hang tight for another night of being a tied to the phone and then i'm free so no i'm I'm getting ready for it i've been laying out all my gear and trying to watch the weather and yeah i'm getting excited for it hopefully this year it doesn't not rain like yeah you know, three in a row it's stuck but yeah no that's <laughs> yeah, pretty to- much it i just wanted to catch up with you guys just before cool. and yeah hey keep checking in on fatbike.com uh tell your friends tell your family it's something that, yeah, uh, you know, I, I at first, I mean, it's been so, just because you mentioned this a couple months ago, it's been a slog to get it back to where it's actually operational and all that. Mm-hmm. And I'm working on the yeah. event calendar now, which I still thought was a good feature from before. But um, just the that first post when, when 50 people said, yeah, don't stop doing this. I'm like, all right, well, now I got a pat on the back. And then the global, the and then the global fat bike day interest just today. It's like, yeah, yeah. I guess there really is an audience still because you know everybody's you know doomsayer. But yeah, cool. I'm you know, and feel free to send reports in. In fact, send pictures in from global fat bike day because yes, um, yes, that, yes, that would be really cool. Oh. Oh yeah, I've got a couple other things I can do too, and I I, I haven't done a video yet. I kind of pieced one together of my I was goofing around with the GoPro and I, with my kids, but I. My kids are better at the tech than I am, so I asked my son to help me, you know, piece it all together, make it look proper. So I might just throw that there too, and then and if it's good enough, then yeah, yeah, right on. No, that'd be whatever good. You, whatever you can use, yeah. Okay. I do wear I do wear my fatbike uh, dot com jersey with pride, and I get a lot of compliments on it. So it's I'm always I'm always sporting that as well here. So yeah, I'm working on a couple other things. Hopefully, we'll have some merch next. You know, it'll be a bit, but it's on the it's on the docket. So. Ooh, nice. All right. Well, you know, just any ways that we can support the site because it, it does still take time and cost money. So I got to figure out ways yep. where I'm not going to beat advertisers up by telling them they suck if they don't, you know, advertise <laughs> like some other people did. But I, I, I want to try and make it valuable for people to participate and somewhat fund, but still get some value out of it, you know, more than just the site itself. So anyway. Yeah. Well, I. I have purchased, I honest to goodness, I have seen reviews on things there from different people that have posted that I've been looking for something and I've gone back to it and I've actually purchased stuff that I've seen on that website. So, so just a testimony of that, that and it does, it, I know that for me, for sure, I've had more than one thing that I've gotten off there and said, hey, that would really work good for me and, and bought it because of the website. So Right on. All right. Appreciate yep. that. All right. Okay. All right. Yep, uh, thanks for calling. We'll catch up with you soon, I hope. Yes, thanks. Merry Christmas, guys. Yep. Happy holiday. Yep. You too. Bye. Yeah, you guys too. Yep, bye-bye. All right. All right, everybody. Got to be honest. I thought the area code, unless I got it wrong, I think it's an Iowa area code. So I was like, oh, it's chewy. Uh, it bounced off the transmitters. But Whatever. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't. It was obviously not chewy. It was well, all, yeah. <laughs> freaking all Roy. All right, here's something I want to mention because we can mention it more before it happens, but I want to get it out there. How we were talking about moving Global Fat Bike Day, which now I think is not really, doesn't really matter. We don't need snow to do it. 
But well, globally, I mean, just globally. Yeah, but this I'm is, just saying selfishly. Right on. <clears throat> so here's it, the, it always butts up against the uh, rampage. So well, yeah, but All here, right. okay. Go, go, here's go, the thing. Go go. The Nut Factory open house was always in February, shortest month of the year. February. Uh, and the idea has been floated by the building elders that we do it again in, say it with me, February. February. Yeah, instead of September, which I never really liked it all that much, I was like, it's a good mid-win- midwinter, like, soiree, and, yeah. you know, you're, you're, not, you're not conflicting with 90 other things, maybe only 68 or something. And sure. Yeah. So uh, the date floated out there is the 22nd of February. I'm not saying that's etched in stone yet, sure. but I am saying. But two, two, two. Pretty sure we're doing. It just sits in your head. Two, 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 five. Bam. So yeah. So <laughs> hopefully that happens. Two plus and, two equals five. You see. And I really, really, super, like absolutely want to get this studio done so we can start renting it out. But it will be open no matter what. But um, it'll be so pretty by two, two, two. It should two, be usable or two, even used two, d- d- by then, I hope. Because two, two, two. It's, yeah, it's costing money not doing anything here. Except us having fun, which is top notch. Uh, da, 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 Santa Rampage. What are we doing for Santa Rampage? So I was going to go to Decorah, but <sighs> now I'm not going to Decorah. Uh, well, I'm staying here. Yeah. Well, and now I part. am too. Um, and I'm not also sure what, Global I, Fat I, I really Day, don't know what, I mean, I honestly don't. Um, my assumption being going to meet over at, uh, or Holland. Rally, rally over to. Rally at Hollander? No. Rally, rally, rally. over at Nomad. Oh, that, that could work. I mean, I don't, yeah, I, nostalgically, yeah, you start at Hollander. But remember how I say my fitness kind of Maybe I'll just go over there and bring a beer with me and just drink it outside. That could at, be. And then and then go down to Nomad. Sure. I mean, I'm in on that side. And then go to Swing Door, and then go home. Boom. Ah, Perfect nah, day. No, well, there's that. Otherwise, but, no, um, no. We'll, <laughs> we'll, let it, we'll let it flow out as it may. But a friend, a friend of the family wants to join. <sighs> what kind of friend? A friend of a friend of a in law of a friend. I mean, you want to talk about uh, how families are twice removed and cousins? <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, this is. Well, let's see how we do this one. <laughs> uh, stepson's wife's friend who was the officiant of their wedding. There. Aaron? No. Oh, their wedding. Their wedding. Not your wedding. No. No, no, no. So, pick, pick it, and give me uh, one. Give me, you a, need a dog give, style. give me a style, baby. Um, Down to the dog style. Gotcha. Well, I mean, it, you know. No, I, I well, I, uh, so I, not I honestly have no bike, idea. Because it's, it's, no, it's no. just rampaging, no. not fat biking. Well, yeah, she just wants a place to launch from or whatever. But she wants to make it down to Bayview. I, I don't know. I'm like, nah. this, I'm like, nah, I'm not going to be volunteered for the tour guide part. Ooh, that was almost this, a volcano but, action. <laughs> I mean, it's be, cool. Beware of the old I mean, style. I just, I don't know what I'm in. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, the Scott, the Monday, I do believe, wants to join up. Yeah, and I I, I, feel, mean, my, I feel bad because I don't have a plan. I'm like, Scott, I'm not ignoring you. I just don't know what the hell we're doing. I said, too. I, he I, wanted, I was to, like, he yeah. wanted to hang with the cool kids, and I get that, you know. I, my idea it's quite is. quite obvious the cool kids are the ones that he's talking about. I mean, nobody really. I mean, I, I will only swing by Hollander. And have a beer outside that I brought with me. Well, is anybody Simply, really starting there? Because there's stuff starting no. in River West too. No, no, no. Um, the uh, approved the nice kids, uh, the nice kids route, a la Jake and the bike fed, is shakalaka thing dang from <laughs> from uh, Wheel and Sprocket Bayview. I I like to call that up. actually Wisconsin bike fed. Sure, whatever. Right on. Same, same. I, I mean, that... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm just... I get Continue. it. I get it. I get it. Continue. Uh, so they're serpentine, slow roll all the way up to Hollander around noon or something like Which that. Which one? The, the Tosa Hollander? No. 
No, the downer. Oh, okay. So he, he hits that and then bounces back and goes the other way. Just like a ping ping ricochet rabbit business? Yeah, well, I mean, stop along the way wherever oh. you want to. But I mean, as ride leader, I'm sure he just. Oh, copy that. Okay. Does da, 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 da. Like, hey, you can stop at Nomad. You can stop at Coin. You can stop along the way. Tour guide, <laughs> Julie McCoy. Yeah. Um, Tour director, so, actually. Well, yeah, that's one of these parts where I was like, oh, yeah, well, if I have to play cruise director for somebody, I'm not really. <laughs> I, I know her enough, but not that well to be like, hey, okay, and plus. I don't know how you do with the uh, ha 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 drinking and uh, bicycling frivolity because well, I have been on guess some. We'll find out. Well, no, and I don't. I don't know. I burned my hand on that stove twice, and I don't <laughs> fucking do that again. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I was like, okay, and there's the road rash all across the cheek. All from right. like three walking moves away. We did That's this. Amazing. We did this sucker again. Hey, thanks everybody for listening. Thanks all Roy for calling in and making the show. Thank you Chewy for not interrupting us because that was top. Notch. Yeah, well done. And uh, I hope your hockey it, game went well. Only um, what is it now? Say thirteen weeks left in the season, so um, you can enjoy lucky life. 13, you can enjoy 13. life after that. Lucky thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. It's always thirteen. And. Uh, Adieu. Oh, away we go. Bye.